said, well, you can't do it, you're gonna die. I said, well, I'd rather die doing what I love to do than sitting at home looking at TV. I'm coming from a position of being the best at what I chose to do, my chosen field. I was the best at that. And the way I approached being the best at that, my message travels throughout whatever industry, whatever chosen field that you choose, whatever endeavor you choose to take upon yourself. If you want to be the best at that, if you want to reach the pinnacle of that, you must be. There's no way around it. You have to be obsessed with obtaining that. Greatness in any field, greatness cannot be achieved without obsession. I say that and I mean that. I stand on that. If you want to be the best, you must be obsessed with it. There's no other way around it. There's no easy way to do it. You have to be obsessed with that shit. I also know a little bit about falling from the top. In 2005, I had open heart surgery. During the course of that surgery, I passed away, flatlined, died, whatever you want to call it, three times. And this once, king of my domain, I used to walk into a competition and I would say, I am the one. Which one of you guys is coming in second? Because all of you know <laughs> C.T. Fletcher is here. So the competition, for all intents and purposes, for you is over. Because <laughs> first place, that's, that's mine. That's a guarantee, that's a lock. So you can discuss amongst yourselves, Come to a decision, which one of y'all coming in second and third? That's okay with me. But this top podium, that belongs to me. Why? Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. I'm the king of that. And that's why this top spot, this number one, that's mine. You guys go ahead and fight over second and third. But I know coming from that type of attitude, I really felt like I was the strongest man on the earth. What you see here before you today is leftovers. I'm 55, every bone in my body aches. But I'm still CT mother. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.